Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT. I stand before you because of the tweet you see on screen right now. Alex Simo tweeted at 12.53pm, Today feels like a great day for a ban list. Now, Simo's tweeted this four times in the past, and every single time, a ban list has been released the exact same day. I don't know how he does it, either he's got an in it Konami, or he's just getting lucky over and over again, or most likely, Everything that occurs in Yu-Gi-Oh! is but a whim on the fancy of Alex Simo. Regardless, this is terrible news for me. I don't have time to put out a reaction video today. I'm spending the next couple of hours studying for torts, and then the subsequent four taking the exam proper, which means that if it's released today, I won't be able to capitalize on the engagement of people uploading live reactions. I won't even find my way into the Farfa compilation! <sighs> I've even been practicing my pog face. Watch this. I can go from prone to pog in under half a second. <laughs> and all that practice for nothing. Well, don't worry. I figured out a workaround. What I'm going to do is react to the ban list even though it's not yet out. I'm going to make a large recording of my face. I'll walk through some things that could happen, might happen. I'll say some vague stuff, allude to cards that might be on or off the ban list, and then you all can help me out by downsizing the picture of my face and superimposing it upon the list as it scrolls by. This is how you can help me help you help me end up in more popular Twitch streamers compilation videos. Okay, let's go now. <clears throat> and if you're a streamer, here's where you can start. Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, and what do you know, the Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list is out. Now, I have not seen any portion of it, and I am very excited to see what it changes. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! has been a frustrating game for me these past few months. The meta is technically diverse, but every top deck is so unfun to play against. I certainly hope this list is going to bring in line the power level of some of the top decks, give the secondary tiered decks a chance to compete, and overall create a more fun play experience for everyone, as I'm sure Konami intends. So let's go right now to the list. Okay, and... Oh shoot, sorry, this is the, um, this is the EU one. It updates a little bit later, so we'll just... Ah, there we go. And there it is! Okay. Let's start with the bands. Hmm. That's it, huh? I mean, obviously, I'm I'm a little disappointed. Uh, it's fewer than I'd expected. Uh, most of the top decks, of course, will still have to redo some combo theory. You know, this is a pretty critical piece, but I don't really see how this removes any of them from contention. Maybe I'm like overestimating combo theorists, too. Uh, in the past, when hits to Infernoble happened, I assumed the deck was kind of dead in the water, um, but individuals found workarounds with stuff like Power Tool Dragon. Maybe something similar will happen here, but at first glance, I'm not really seeing it. It's hard to evaluate because, like, obviously there's a lot of really powerful, innately strong cards in decks like Dragon Link and Infernoble Knight and Dinosaur, and a lot of them exist regardless of what has ended up on the list, but I would have liked to have seen more. Gosh, this is just such a weird reaction uh, to a format that I, I imagine is reducing play rates. Obviously, COVID's going on, so they, they don't want to modify too much without enough data, but wow. Yeah, it is strange that they seem so conservative. I, mean, I guess at the end of the day, the ban list is a tool to sell product, and this will help sell product. The one thing I find really weird is, am I missing something? I don't see, like, a, a super meaningful Volkswagen hit. I guess the deck isn't, like, tier one, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but that seems to be an early contender for best deck in a post ban list environment. I mean, they pretty much lost nothing. No self-respecting VW player was making lines in a vacuum that ran up against the cards that are on this list anyway. And then, like... Here, let me scroll down to it. But th this one is really weird to me. Uh, 
I, I actually didn't think this was a problem at all. I know, like, Reddit has been very vocal about that they didn't want to see this card anymore, and I understand that. Like, it's not fun, it doesn't create cool game states, but I didn't think it was unbeatable. Like, I, I certainly didn't think it was ban-worthy. Huh. Well, okay, maybe the limited list will resolve some of these issues. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> There's one right there. Yeah, wow, that is... That's gonna make it a lot harder to compete. Um... But, you know, the one thing with Dinosaur is that it is always able to adapt. Uh, this deck has absorbed a ton of hits, you know. Uh, even hits to peripheral things like Pankratops have impacted the deck. So, um, I have no doubt that the combo theorists like uh, Giant Skyhawk will be able to make a competent deck lacking this piece. Let's see what else? Uh. <laughs> uh, sure. I mean, yeah, that's... Obviously, that's fine. This is one of those cards that could have gone from banned to unlimited, and it literally wouldn't change anything. <laughs> I guess it's fine that they're putting it to one first. Maybe someone will figure out a way to break it, but I, I doubt it. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, and that's it for limited, huh? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, way fewer cards than I expected to end up on the list, but, uh, you know, it, it'll still have an impact. Uh, I guess let's check semi. Yep, I mean, unsurprising. God, someday they will remove this list, and then I will be the first one there. And then, yeah, the unlimited section. Yeah, the, the semi-limited section is basically just being used as a quarantine zone for the unlimited cards, so it makes sense that, like, the movement is in that direction. Uh, happy to see these finally come all the way off, though. <laughs> you know, if they weren't doing anything at 2, obviously they weren't going to do anything at 3. Maybe I have some, like paleo friends i can i can get back into the game uh who quit after toad was limited finally you can play your tier one meta destroying threat ah shoot well we weren't able to get to 10 minutes but those are my honest opinions uh i guess i would say that i'm i'm disappointed um that i'll, I'll wait for it to sink in a little bit more but i would have liked to have seen more hits you know this changes i think probably hand trap math for sure and it changes the mechanism by which individuals will get to their combos. You know, we're not going to see, like, Link Cross into Martial Metal from Halka Fibrax into uh, Cyber Integrator, maybe, uh, every single game, but we'll still see something, like, similar. And a lot of these really powerful cards that enable these lines are still legal, so it doesn't really matter uh, what particular enabler you're hitting. I have no doubt that individuals are going to find other versions of it. It just seems like another list that sort of dances around the problems of what makes the top decks the top decks. Like a critical mass of really good, independently powerful cards that you'll have to deal with with an iron fist if you ever want the meta to change in any meaningful way. I, I also wish they would have been a little more um, liberal with unhits, right? Like, what do these exactly do for the game? Like, uh, unlimiting a Saki card, or putting a Saki card from 0 to 1 doesn't change anything other than, like, enabling me to make a Turbo Tuesday or, like, a YouTube combo person to upload a couple of new videos, uh, it's not going to impact the meta in any given way. And if you're willing to explore that design space, why not do it for a ton of stuff? Like, I think a lot of similar cards could have come from uh, 0 to 1 or even 0 to 3, and they're just not willing to entertain it. It seems to be, like almost performative in a way like yes we're willing to unhit cards but only when we are absolutely certain they will not only see no play they will also enable nothing yeah oh well i mean at the end of the day uh, the thing that's keeping me from playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh right now isn't exactly the metagame as much as i decry it it's covid19 and regardless of what the metagame looks like uh when uh, fingers crossed, the vaccine comes out and uh, events are once again able to be held, I'm going to it. You know, I don't care if it's VW Tier 0 format, I'm going to show up just because I need that rush of playing card games in person. Uh, well, that's going to be it for me. Uh, thank you so much for coming by and uh, sharing this time with me, and I, uh, I'll see you next format, I suppose.